Hi everyone, welcome to our Griffith University session, A Student's Guide to Medicine at Griffith. Um, so today we have Kevin chatting to you, he's a fourth year medical student, um, and he's going to be, he's going to be telling all about his experience. So take it away, Kevin, welcome. Hey everyone, so I'm Kevin. Um, yeah, so I'm in my fourth year at Griffith, and um, here's just a photo of the uh, Griffith Medical School. So inside the medical school, there's also the dental school and um, health school as well that uh, has physiotherapists and nurses as well. Um, so yeah, it's a pretty brand new building, which is uh, nice to have. Um, so just a little bit about my background and who I am. So I'm a fourth year medical student, um, initially from Grand Forks, BC, which is a super, super small town in the middle of nowhere. Uh, but then I moved to uh, Victoria and did uh, my undergrad at the University of Victoria. Uh, and then I decided afterwards that I would take some time off just to kind of build up some funds. And I was also exhausted from uh, undergrad as well. Uh, so I decided to take some time off and just work in finance uh, for a little bit. So a bit of a different field. Uh, but then I decided to, um, to uh, pursue my passion, which was initially uh, medicine and uh, applied for and got accepted into Griffith uh, for the 2018 intake and I'm completing my studies next week. So we just have uh, final exams next week and then, um, yeah, then it's all done. Um, so this is just a little bit about why I chose Griffith specifically versus any other um, Australian medical school. So it had a graduate entry program. Um, so a four year program rather than a five or six year program that some universities have, but most are moving towards a four year program that would be similar to uh, the Canadian or US programs. Uh, there was a lower cost uh, for tuition um, and lower um, cost of living than other Australian universities and other cities like Sydney, Melbourne, uh, and Brisbane, where uh, rental costs and um, parking, transport, things like that can be quite, um, quite high and unaffordable. Um, and the other good thing about the Gold Coast, too, um, where Griffith is, is um, it is a um, good sized city, so it's about six to 700,000 in population. Um, but you kind of get a small town uh, beach vibe as well. So um, there's things like free parking everywhere and free parking by the beach, whereas sometimes in Sydney, Melbourne, you'd pay over $100 a day on parking. Um, and Sydney, sometimes $200 plus for parking. So it's um, definitely a lot more of an affordable city and beautiful city as well. Um, yeah, the Gold Coast was the host of the 2018 Commonwealth Games. Um, it'll also be a host city for the 2032 uh, Summer Olympics. So there's lots of uh, new infrastructure going in and exciting times ahead if that's where you decide to come. Um, and Griffith University was ranked as a top 50 university under 50 years old. So it's a newer university, but it's still uh, ranked quite highly um, among competitors. Um, and uh, one of the, um, I guess, top reasons that I chose Griffith was that they built a brand new hospital right on campus. And there's um, about uh, 5 billion or more that's spent on new hospitals that Griffith has access to. Um, so Griffith has access to a lot of uh, new state-of-the-art hospitals, which was definitely a draw for me. Um, so this is just a photo of the uh, beautiful skyline um, of somewhere that you get to live. And then about 10 to 15 minutes south, um, you have kind of some smaller beach towns, beach town vibes, um, beautiful crystal clear waters. Um, so this is a suburb called Burley. Um, and these are some of the hospitals that Griffith has access to. So we have the Gold Coast University Hospital, which is right on the Griffith campus in the Gold Coast. Um, so they spent about $2 billion on this uh, brand new facility. Uh, so it's a credible facility to get to learn at. And it also means that we get some great lectures um, and physicians that um, work just um, at the hospital and they can pop over um, to the university to help with uh, lectures and stuff like that. So we get some uh, people that are at the top of their field uh, for that, which is great. Uh, then we also have access to the Sunshine Coast University Hospital, which is um, north of Brisbane and north of the Gold Coast. And that's another two billion that's been spent on that. So again, a brand new state-of-the-art facility that we get to learn at. And then uh, just south of the Gold Coast, there's a new $800 million Tweed Hospital that's uh, currently under construction, which will be ready for 2023, which um, if you decided to go to Griffith, then you'd have access to that hospital as well. So 
Um, yeah, beautiful new facilities. Um, there's also rural hospitals too that you'd have access to if that's something that you do wish to uh, pursue. Um, so this was my pathway to applying for Griffith. So I took online um, an online prep course for the MCAT with Kaplan. Uh, so I usually studied evenings after work and then I wrote full practice exams on Saturdays and then Sundays I took off just to uh, relax because um, it was quite a stressful week uh, but you needed some time to just live your life and enjoy. Um, I applied through Austrek and they guided me on obtaining all the appropriate documentation and I also didn't have to pay any university application fees um, which was a big bonus um, applying through them and made it a lot easier and streamlined. Um, I did only decide to apply to Griffith as it was my number one choice and I wanted to live on the Gold Coast, uh, but that's not saying that you can apply to other universities, but uh, I obviously would recommend uh, coming to Griffith. Um, so I was offered an interview in January of 2017 and it was mostly scenario-based questions. So it wasn't focused on medicine or sciences or your past knowledge uh, background of health. It was more um, tricky scenario-based questions on how you would handle difficult situations. Um, and I think kind of a pointer or tip that I might give for that is that you don't want to choose an extreme either way. So um, if there is a difficult situation that you're in, you don't wanna take someone's uh, side over the other side. You kind of have to weigh pros and cons of both sides um, and come out with kind of the best um, ethical decision or um, something that works in the middle of those two extremes. Um, so shortly after, about two or three weeks afterwards, after the interview, I was offered a position uh, in February of 2017 um, for the January 2018 intake. And then, um, yeah, shortly after, I moved with my partner and my golden retriever we brought uh, with us to the Gold Coast in December 2017. Um, so that's just a picture of us just in front of the uh, university hospital uh, there as well. Um, so this is uh, just a quick pathway or overview of what the program looks like. And it might change uh, for future years, but this is what it looked like for me. Uh, so in the first uh, one in our first two years, uh, it was mostly lecture based. So we had uh, your sciences, anatomy, physiology, uh, pathology, uh, clinical skills, and we also had uh, communication skills, um, which was a big focus of Griffith. Um, and I think that's one thing that does set Griffith apart is its uh, focus on communication skills. Um, and then uh, law and ethics and public health. So most of the uh, first two years are lectures. Um, you do have a lot of group learning activities with other medical students, and you also have simulated consultations with medical actors. Um, so it is a position. I didn't realize there was such thing as medical actors, but there are. Um, so they simulate a real patient and you would go in there and um, handle the situation and handle difficult consultations. And it prepares you really well for the hospital um, in your third and fourth years. Um, so yeah, as I mentioned, Griffith does pride itself a lot on the communication skills. And we often do get recognized by physicians in the hospital that they can tell that we are Griffith students versus other university students because we are um, prepared with those communication skills um, and know how to talk to patients, know the right questions to ask versus some other students um, might not feel as comfortable and you can tell that they don't have a good flow or um, history taking approach with patients. So that's definitely something that sets us aside or sets us apart. Um, and then in year three, you have minimal formal university lectures. Um, you're mostly 100% hospital based and you do get teaching by the physicians at the hospital. You'll do six, seven week rotations in surgery, women's health, general medicine, uh, pediatrics, aged care and cancer care, and then uh, mental health as well. Um, you can opt to stay local and stay at the university hospital or other local hospitals, um, or you can also go to um, somewhere rural um, if that's something that you decide. Uh, mostly the international students get placed in metropolitan areas. Um, so mostly on the Gold Coast or Brisbane, if you'd like. Uh, we don't tend to get sent rurally, um, but this year they did uh, allow us to go rural if that's something we wanted. Uh, but it's very rare that you'd actually get sent rural if you didn't want to go. So um, that's kind of a good thing if you're um, a city person and want to stay in the city, um, you're not gonna get sent rurally as an international, which is kind of the opposite of what I would have thought. Um, 
And then in final year, it's very similar to third year, just different rotations. So you get to do uh, orthopedic surgery, intensive care unit, anesthetics, general practice, emergency medicine, and then get to choose um, an elective. So um, in previous years, the electives, people have gotten to go to uh, Europe or you can go back to Canada um, or the US. Um, this year, um, obviously due to COVID, we had to stay more local. Um, but uh, some people did some cool electives like uh, plastic surgery or um, like flying with the uh, Royal Flying Doctors. You get to fly out to uh, remote areas and deal with trauma situations, um, which is pretty cool. So uh, definitely lots of opportunities still. And um, again, one thing that really sets Griffith apart is Griffith medical students really help other Griffith medical students. Um, so it's not common among other universities. There's usually quite a competitive atmosphere um, to get the top GPA. Whereas at Griffith, there's a um, strong culture of medical students sharing their resources. So they'll share previous year's notes, exam preparation material. Um, all they want is for everyone to pass medicine um, together. So we're all in it together and we all help each other out and upper years help lower years out. Um, so it's a very um, kind of team atmosphere that we're all in it together. So it's not common that you see that at other universities, but it's um, it completely sets Griffith apart with um, having that and is a massive help towards uh, passing all the exams. So this is a little bit about the lifestyle that you'll have on the Gold Coast. So there's um, tons of opportunity for hiking, beautiful waterfalls. Um, it has some of Australia's best surfing. Um, so we have over 50 kilometers of white sand beaches. Um, so there's definitely no shortage of it. Um, it's absolutely stunning to just get there, get to go there on the weekend or afternoons. Um, and then um, there's some really good fitness centers around too. So this is just a picture of the fitness center on the uh, Gold Coast campus um, overlooking the pool. Um, there's also a new arts and culture precinct. So we have a brand new art gallery and outdoor concert venue overlooking the skyline. So it's super nice. Uh, the shopping walls here look like resorts. Um, so they're kind of indoor outdoor atmosphere and have pools in the middle of uh, the shopping mall. So um, super uh, nice to see. And then uh, we also have uh, quite an easy public transport system. So there's a tram that goes up and down the Gold Coast and is um, discounted for students as well. Uh, if you're into professional sports, we do have some good um, sporting venues as well. So we have professional rugby league. Um, there's also the professional Australian football league as well. And uh, we also have sports just with it in the medical school as well. So we had a Griffith medical um, intramural touch football club and it was good um, atmosphere just to get the first years integrated with the second years and third and fourth years as well. Um, so you kind of get to know all four years and uh, get to build a good relationship with everyone in medicine. Um, so after graduation, um, I've opted to stay in Australia and not go back to Canada at this point. Um, I was offered an internship position at the uh, Gold Coast University Hospital on uh, Griffith campus. And I know other Canadian students that were offered positions um, near Sydney in New South Wales and um, up in Brisbane as well. Um, so you can get offered positions all over the country, just depending on where you want to apply. And as far as I know, 100% of the Canadian graduates from Griffith do plan to stay in Australia. So nobody plans to go back to Canada this year. Um, that was not all of our thoughts when we first came here. We are fully planning on going back to Canada. Uh, but we've decided to stay in Australia. Um, so mostly because we enjoyed the lifestyle here. Um, some people met um, Australian partners. Now they've decided to base their life here. There's also better wages here. And uh, some students who did want to go back to Canada just um, decided to hold off for now uh, because there was a little bit of difficulties with writing in-person exams um, for the Canadian uh, board exams or Canadian OSCEs. Um, but um, yeah, as far as I know, everybody's really happy to stay here and wants to stay here. So um, that's definitely an option if you wanna make Australia home. Um, so the internship wages in Queensland start at about 82,000, uh, plus you get extra pay for evening shifts, overtime weekends. So you're likely to make 100,000 or more in your first year um, after graduating versus about 55,000 in British Columbia. Um, and it's similar across the country and you don't get any overtime pay in Canada. So it's a huge benefit into staying here as well. And 
that's it. So I'll leave it um, if anyone does have any questions. Okay, there are a few questions here. Um, so the first one is how many MCAT practice exams did you take? Yeah, good question. So this was over four years ago, almost five years ago now. So um, trying to remember back um, that far ago, but I believe um, it was probably about eight. Um, I probably wrote eight full exams um, just on Saturdays, as I mentioned, and then I would kind of mark them in the morning on Sunday and then take the rest of Sunday off. So probably about yeah eight full exams before writing the real one. Awesome, lots of preparation. <laughs> for sure, well, I think that's all the questions we have coming in. Um, but yeah, I just wanted to thank you so much for uh, chatting all about your experience, a lot of great insight into Griffith and, um, and the program and just your life there. So thank you so much. Um, if you do have any further questions, everyone, you can head back to Career Echo um, or you can check out the next presentation that's coming up. Thank you. Thank you Looking so much, Kevin. To you on the Gold Coast. See ya.